Okay. Welcome to the Jerome Book Arts Mentorship Information Session. My name is Annika Schneider. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm the Director of Exhibitions and Artist Programs at Minnesota Center for Book Arts. Um, we will first go through my slides, and then we'll be open up for Q&A at the end of the information session. Okay. The Minnesota Center for Book Arts is a nonprofit arts organization focused on the book. We provide youth and adult workshops in paper making, letterpress printing, screen printing, book binding, paper marbling, and book related arts. Our programs span from exhibitions, visiting artist talks, fellowships, mentorships, an artist collective membership program, and an artist consignment program in our shop. We are located in the Open Book Building on Washington Avenue in downtown Minneapolis. Um, this is the main lobby of Open Book. Um, and Open Book houses Minnesota Center for Book Arts, along with two other book-themed nonprofits, the Loft Literary Center and Milkweed Editions. This is our shop um, that has both art supplies um, and artist consignment items. Uh, Minnesota Center for Book Arts has two exhibition spaces, our main gallery. Um, this is another view of our main gallery space and our outlook gallery, which faces Washington Avenue. So MCBA's um, studios, um, we have studios in letterpress printing, um, book binding, a screen printing area, um, paper for making studios, equipment for marbling, engraving, calligraphy, and alternative photography practices, um, and more. Um, this is a view of our letterpress studio. paper making and marbling studio. Um, we actually have two studios, um, wet studios for paper making, our bindery. Okay. Um, the Jerome Book Arts Mentorship Program. So the application deadline is on August 17th at 11.59 p.m. So please be sure to get in your application by 11.59 p.m. Um, we will not make exceptions for late applications. So the MCBA Jerome Book Arts Mentorship is open to Minnesota-based early career artists. Um, the Book Arts Mentorship is an artist development program aimed at introducing book arts to early career artists whose primary medium is in another discipline. There are many reasons to explore book arts as a new artistic medium. Um, as a highly malleable and versatile form of expression, book arts extend the possibilities of other art forms. You can create a conceptual space, experiment with sequence and visual or verbal narrative, use book art forms to explore document, or re-examine work produced in other artistic disciplines. Okay, so the application cycle. Applications opened. Oh, this is not correct. I did not update that. I am sorry. Um, so the application closes on August 17th, 2022 at 11.59, as I said. Recipients will be publicly announced on September 13th. Um, Saturday, September 17th will be um, the orientation. And then the mentorship period will run from September 17th, 2022 through November 9th, 2023. So a little bit about the Jerome Foundation. Um, the Jerome Foundation, um, created by artist and philanthropist Jerome Hill, seeks to contribute to a dynamic and evolving culture by supporting the creation, development, and production of new works by early career artists. The foundation makes grants to early career artists and those nonprofit arts organizations that serve them in the state of Minnesota and the five boroughs of New York City. The foundation's highest priority is to support artists early in their careers who create work that is and or has the potential to be compelling, deeply considered, imaginative, innovative, and risk-taking. Okay, so the Jerome Book Arts Mentorship is for Minnesota-based artists um, 
for at least one year prior to the application deadline. So from August 17th, 2021, you must have lived in Minnesota. And it is for early career artists. Um, artists who are eligible in this program may work in literary arts, poetry, spoken word, fiction, creative nonfiction, visual arts, such as drawing, painting, photography, sculpture, mixed media, um, new media, music, for those who are composers, film, um, video for filmmakers and animation artists, theater, playwriting, and dance in choreography. Um, applicants are not eligible if they are a degree-seeking student, MCBA staff member, McKnight Fellowship recipient, previous Jerome Book Arts resident or mentee, or tenure track faculty. And just to clarify, so this list is not there could be other medias that are applicable, um, just as long as you're an early career artist and what the Jerome Foundation considers to be um, a generative artist. Um, so to clarify a little bit about what that means, and I can, if anyone has questions about that, answer that more in the Q&A period. So the Jerome Foundation considers um, if you are a composer of music, you are a generative artist. You are creating new work. If you are a musician, they consider that as interpreting work, and then you are not eligible. Um, if you are a director of film, they consider that you are the creative and making new work. If you are a director of already existing plays, then they do not consider you a generative artist. They also do not support designers such as architects product designers, graphic designers. Okay, so who is early career? Early career artists have done more than simply aspire to create a work in a given discipline. Early career artists have already created works and have an artistic practice. Um, in the case of those artists who have been enrolled in a degree training program, um, there needs to be works that have been created since, um, since graduation, so since you've been out of school. An artist may be considered early career for multiple years. Um, the program support artists who are early in their early career um, period and in a later stage of their early career um, period. Age is not a factor in determining an early career artist. An early career status is based on the totality of an artistic career, not on achievement within a single discipline. Um, so example, a well-established musician who decides to begin creating book arts is considered post-early career artists. So if you have a 40-year span of making paintings of your career, you've been a painter and had a career as a painter for 40 years, and you are just trying to start and get into book arts, you do not count as an early career artist in that case. Okay, so what is book art? Um, book art is an interdisciplinary art that uses the form or function of books as inspiration. Book art is a contained narrative that serves as a multifaceted method of communication. If a book simply contains text and can be bought at a store, it is just a book, even if authored by an artist. The artist's, artist's intent and initiative is what makes it an art object. The materials used, illustration, layout and design, creation process of the artist make it an art object. Um, book arts may use, but are not limited to print, poetry, visual arts, graphic design, sculpture, narrative, sequencing, mapping, installation, spatial elements, um, visual or verbal language, photography, documentation, and more. And MCBA uses an expansive definition of book arts when we um, talk about book arts. Here are some examples of what MCBA defines as book art. So you can see there's a wide range from paper objects, box objects, maps, insulation, um, but MCBA, as long as it is a contained artwork that is narrative driven, um, fits under our expansive definition of book arts. Some more examples. Um, and also we do include um, digital work as book arts. And then 
We also include at MCBA zines and self-publishing, um, which are our small self circulation self-published work of original or appropriated text and images. Um, among the various intentions for creation and publication are developing one's identity, sharing a niche skill or art, or developing a story, as opposed to seeking profit. Zines have served as a significant medium of communication in various subcultures and frequently draw inspiration from a do-it-yourself philosophy that disregards the traditional conventions of professional design and publishing houses, proposing an alternative, confident, and self-aware contribution. Um, so for MCA, MCBA practices of zines um, falls within the scope of book arts. And some examples of zines. Okay, so the application requirements are a letter of intent, work samples, artist statement, resume, slash CV, image description list, and proof of Minnesota residency. So I'll get in a little bit more about what all of these entail. Okay, so what the panel looks for. So within your work samples, um, they should be selected to show to jury panel your artistic merit, um, evidence of clarity and uniqueness of vision, um, visual slash written evidence for how book arts will develop your practice. Um, within your artist statement, you should write who you are as a person slash artist, where your practice comes from, what your practice is about um, slash your practice's values. Letter of intent should focus on how do you see book arts developing your practice? Why are book arts needed in your practice? What skills in particular do you see yourself using? Um, any specific projects or ideas um, that you plan for for the mentorship program? And what your overall vision is for where this um, program will direct your practice. And then your professional resume um, will, should show your artistic accomplishment and also provide evidence of your early career status and commitment to your practice. Okay, a little bit more on your artist statement and letter of intent. Um, so there, it should be a current artist statement and it should speak to the images you are submitting. Images and statements should work together to support each other and create a view of you as an artist to the jurors. And then it would be good to address at least one of the following statements, questions in the letter of intent. Um, describe the future direction of your work. How will the mentorship programming benefit your practice? Why is this a pivotal moment in your practice where receiving um, this residency and completing the projects will make a difference? And you should not be including your name on any of the application um, materials. Um, we're trying to keep it as blind of a process as possible. And then again, your resume slash CV to list your art artistic accomplishments to date. And please do not include your name. Um, if your name is in the title of a work or an exhibition or publication, just replace it with artist's name there in the document. Okay, work samples. So you are submitting up to 10 work samples total. Um, they can be a combination of images, video, audio, or written samples. Um, so for both video documentation for images, Springboard, I just want to point out, which is also listed in the application guidelines, Springboard for the Arts is a great resource. Um, they do allow checkouts for materials, I think, for a small fee. So they're a great resource to look into if you need to do some documentation. Um, your video, oops. Your video audio may not exceed 10 minutes and written samples may not exceed six pages. So if to help this make sense, you could do five images, two videos of four minutes each, that adds up to eight minutes and um, three written samples of a page each that does not exceed six pages um, if your practice is that expansive. So they should add up to 10 and not exceed the 10 minutes for video or audio or the six pages for written samples. Okay, so your proof of Minnesota residency, 
Um, you have to have lived one year again prior to the August 17th deadline. Um, proof of residency documents can include a Minnesota driver's license, Minnesota ID card, utility bill, an applicant's name, lease or tribal ID. Um, if you are using a driver's license or an ID card, make sure that it is dated then before August 17th, 2021. Or if you have gotten a new ID in the last year period, just take a picture of both of them and you can submit them both. And then award winners must reside in the state of Minnesota for the duration of the program and be available to participate in all aspects of the program. Okay, program benefits and schedule. So there is a $2,000 award for the purchase of materials. Um, you will receive basic book arts training at MCBA through workshops. You will receive an educational stipend of $1,250 to be used for both the required workshops and any additional workshops or private tutorials you need um, to, then, to then work on your project that you will have an exhibition for at the end of the mentorship period. After you complete your initial training in the required workshops, you will receive 24 seven access to MCBA studio spaces. Um, you will also receive mentorships through support from MCBA staff um, through project meetings and critiques. Um, the program also includes a field trip to a local collection and a local book artist studio. And then you will receive um, a public exhibition in MCBA's main gallery at, at the accumulation of your mentorship. And then you will receive professional documentation of that exhibition as well. And then a one year um, MCBA membership, which will give 10% discounts on all workshops, tuitions and 10% discount at the MCBA stat, um, shop. Okay, so to schedule for the program. So as I said, if you are accepted, um, Saturday, September 17th will be the orientation. You will then have to complete the required workshops um, before the end of the calendar year, so before the end of 2022. So you will be taking letterpress one, which will be offered the following dates. Um, you will pick one. Um, European paper making, which will also be, which will meet three times, three hours week, oh, three hours a week consecutively on um, Thursday evenings, book binding one as well. Um, these dates will are to be announced for when all these workshops will run, but you will also likely have multiple options um, in the fall for when you would complete them. You will complete a cutting equipment training, which will be one Tuesday evening. Um, for one hour and a paper beater training, which will also be one Tuesday evening for one and a half hours. So the workshops will run um, the required ones Tuesdays, Thursday evenings, and Saturdays. So you would have to be available for a good number of those days um, and times this fall. Okay, and how can you get involved at MCBA right now? We have uh, both virtual in-person workshops currently um, and we have a reduced rate for BIPOC artists of 50% um, of 50 for class tuition. Um, we offer classes in book binding, research and writing and artist books, intro to design, um, indigo use and preparation, DIY printing, um, pochoir and more. And then we also have studio labs, um, which offer access to low cost access to equipment. There are Tuesdays and Saturdays, and you do need to be able to use equipment independently, but we have studio fellows on in the studios those days to help with equipment and to provide some support. They are $35 for five hours of studio access and then the 50% rate for BIPOC artists. Okay, and if you have additional questions um, while you're working on your application, please feel free to reach out to me at my email, or you can also definitely um, make a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me before August 10th, and I will help review application materials, provide more support, answer questions, anything like that. So I am now gonna stop the share and recording, and if anyone has any questions, um, we can I can answer them now.